Open your ears, I promise this will take a second. Put you on game, my brother, teach you valuable lesson. Respect yourself, we happy, no need to reminisce. No need to worry, you chilling with men with confidence. Speak your mind, say what's up with your life. We can teach you wrong for right and take the darkness out your life. So what's good? What's good? It ain't nothing but a small thing. Have a seat, you can talk to us about anything. Money's car, sports, or maybe your business. Positive goals in your life support better living. A pep talk to the ones who in the darkest hour. Remember, sunlight comes after a rain shower. There's nothing wrong with the man who takes notes. Don't take this as a joke. These words are well spoken. Teammates, cause we playing to win. I have a seat at the table with some men with confidence. And welcome to Men in Confidence Sharing, where we, the men of a certain age, share our thoughts, ideas, and opinions in confidence. Now, today we are joined by the whole crew. We have Terrence, we have Sean, and we have Rhino. So let's one by one say hello to everyone. Hello, Sean. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Hello, Rhino. Good, everybody. And hello, Terrence. Greetings and salutations as always, people. All right, and I don't know if I mentioned that I'm the host, Tony, but today we have a continuing episode of our ongoing series, uh, The Ten Men Commandments. Ten things that all men should know or ten things that all men should follow. And today we continue with Be a Good Caretaker of Your Body. And we all tap out of this one because we're yeah. <laughs> we're, we're all terrible examples <laughs> of this extremely important topic. <laughs> but in all seriousness, we're we're gonna try to have a serious conversation about being a good caretaker of your body because it is very important. And with that being said, I will actually throw the question to the crew. Why is it important to be a good caretaker of your body? Well, it's simple. In this life, you want to be respected. You want to be you looked at as a decent human being. You want to be received by your loved ones and your friends and respected by your colleagues, obviously. So one of the simpler ways of doing that is how you present yourself. Now, being in shape, it's a good way to go. You know, it's, it's, it's better for your health. Um, it's better for you and your, your life. But um, also, it's how you present yourself. Now, <laughs> we've all watched the news and some beautiful person goes missing and there. Everyone's like, oh my goodness. She's so beautiful. How, is, how could someone dare abduct her? Well, because people care about pretty people. That's why Hollywood is filled with beautiful people. People want to see beautiful people doing beautiful things. But the rest of us, we in trouble. If we go missing, we're in trouble. No, no. Oh, he's missing? Well, I hope they find him. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> you know, who, who's going to care? But um, but presentation is, is everything. Um, I can think back to... Um, school even you know <laughs> some of the even some of the less attractive people if they dressed nice I thought more highly of them and, and, and it just it just is what it is um, if, if you go into a store dressed like a homeless person you're not gonna get any help in fact you're gonna get the, the sarcastic can I help you Right, but if you go and you dress sharp and you dress nice and you look like you're ready to buy, you're going to get people fighting hand over foot to, to help you. Oh, sir, I can help you. Can, can I help you find something? Let me help you find something, you know, because um, it's all in how you proceed. And being a good caretaker of your body, if nothing else, make yourself palatable. Make yourself easily or better received by people and i i know it's sad that that's how we think and that's how it is in this world but it is what it is so and i'll i'll leave it there for anybody else who wants to take up the mantle okay so 
when you said it's simple and jump right in Rhino, I honestly thought you were gonna say, well, you only get one body, so you gotta take care of it because it's the only one you get. So, and then you took the turn that you did, and I was like, okay, did not see that coming, but you know, that, that's that's a perspective. I'm not even gonna be mad at it. It is what it is. Um, for me, it's important to take care of your body and. I think part of this is coming from a place of having been hospitalized twice. I tend to overthink that thing when it comes to taking care of your body because I've been on the weaker end of it and that doesn't feel good. It was, you know, kind of a, I don't want to say eye opening experience because legit all right so a little backstory i was hospitalized for about eight days had an intestinal blockage and no one knew what was going on at first and it got really grim you know organs were potentially about to start shutting down and everything and it was just crazy dark and the sad part about it is i don't even remember most of it that's how out of it i was so for me taking care of my body is extremely important because number one i hate the feeling that there's some time in my life that i absolutely do not remember i was talking to people that wasn't there don't know what was going it was just like bonkers and to me that doesn't make sense because i do not remember it at all basically i'm having to rely on family telling me their experiences of it is just wild number two you know I don't want to sound like a health nut and just, you know, one of those people who are like, you got to work out and you got to eat right. I'm not pushing that agenda on anybody because I don't do it to the best of my ability, even after the experience. So that's kind of a conundrum that I find myself in. But I do understand the importance of taking care of your body because, again, it's the only one you have. So for that reason, it's paramount to do your best with it, you know. Am I training to be a marathon runner? No, but I'm not, you know, trying to eat myself into a stupor or drink myself into a stupor or alter my body any other way with other medicinal or prescription or non-prescription factors. You know, I, I just try to do the best that I can with what I got because it's the only one I got and that's what matters most to me. So that's my two cents on the topic. All right. So <clears throat> I'm going to follow that up. You know, my boy made a lot of good points. He touched the nerve when he talked about his uh, his struggles there with it being hospitalized or whatever. I almost lost my darn boy and I didn't even know it. So <laughs> that, that was like, okay, all right. Let me my bad, together. man. No, no, no. You good. You good. I just had to get myself together because I had remembered about that. But, um, no, when we first when we first went to approach this topic, I thought, you know, and, and we had a good laugh about it. Y'all guys missed a, a, a good segment because I was thinking to myself, well, I am not qualified. Be a caretaker of your body. Well, I'm not qualified to answer that. <laughs> I have no authority on that topic at all. <laughs> if, you, if you can see me, you can stop it. <laughs> you ain't go. But no, no. But, you know, then I started thinking about it a different way because, you know, just like a lot of different things, sometimes you can think to yourself, well, actually, being that I didn't do it makes me more qualified to answer let me get to let me let me show you how that goes i know what it took to not do it so i can say you know i can look back what they say hindsight is always 2020 i can look back and go i should have did that i should have did that <laughs> i should have did that too dang i really should have did that but you know also too you have to it's, it depends on how you look at it because again like my buddy rhino hit presentation how you carry yourself on whatever level you are whatever god gave you whatever body you have, all this stuff is outside. Half of our, what we're doing here, talking to everybody, trying to get you guys right, is a, it's it's got to do with, you know, more of just, you know, good knowledge to have, just, just positive vibes and things like that. No matter what your outer shell is, work on your inner shell too. You see what I'm saying? Work on who you are as a person. Um, 
and how you want that to be. But we are talking about of body. So I will say caretaker of your body and that's important. What I always pray for is to be like, you know, Lord help me not to do something to my own self that is detrimental to me in the end. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to, you know, develop cancer and you don't know where it came from. It's one thing to do that and another thing to be, hey, because I wanted to smoke weed, you know, do molly or whatever and all that kind of stuff all the time, and you're destroying your body yourself. So I started thinking of it in terms of that. You be a good caretaker, your body means don't do something destructive to your body yourself you know these type of things we already know are destructive so let's not do something destructive to our own selves drinking in to excess leads to cirrhosis of the liver you know we know these things these are proven things so don't drink to excess you know things like that not taking you know overdosing on drugs and things like that because it puts a strain on your body so from a body standpoint that's my little tidbit just want to put it out say hey <laughs> you know, even even minus the eating, because I like I say, I want to say I'm not qualified, but I am because I know how I got here. Don't eat too much bacon. You know, back off the pork chops every now and then. Everything doesn't have to have gravy on it, <laughs> although that's good. <laughs> it, oh, it's awesome! It tastes great. <laughs> it just doesn't. It doesn't have to have it every single time. You know, you can back sure. off some. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Just to, so that you can eat it longer. Look, so if you want to be able to eat things with gravy in your like 73, 81, <laughs> you might you might have to back off a little at 20. 36 to 42 <laughs> so you can still be eating that stuff at 78 <laughs> and that's my two six. i'm gonna drop the mic <laughs> all right thank you fellas thank you fellas all good all good statements all good comments so i guess i'll start with the obvious it's important to be a good caretaker uh physically uh, as far as eating right you know exercise you know i'm a i won't say young people <laughs> i'm a man from south carolina so everybody knows that we know 50 million ways to cook a pig yes sir. and 100 million ways to eat it yes sir. <laughs> and that doesn't even that's not even talking about sean this gravy that's just, just the pig itself <laughs> that, that's just the bacon notice the first I thing out my mouth yeah my first the first thing out my mouth was don't eat pounds of bacon <laughs> <laughs> but i think we need to say the obvious things as far as exercise drink water lower your salt intake you know any any white crystal going in your body is bad salt sugar all that stuff you know meth you know all that stuff is bad <laughs> other white crystals this, all, this all, is just all true. white crystals are are all white on. crystals i love it <laughs> crack you know <laughs> but just take take care of your body as far as what you put into it how you treat it make sure that it gets enough work or enough workout but i'll also say take care of your body and how you handle day-to-day -day living stay out of the hood <laughs> like we are all black men of a certain age why because we knew where not to go to make it to this age <laughs> absolutely <laughs> there are just certain places that you don't need to be because it lowers your life expectancy so try to take care of yourself and it kind of connects to everything else that we were we've been talking about through this whole series that you need to take care of yourself so you can be an asset so you can be confident so you can be loving so you can be self-sufficient like it all comes together and i also say that it's important to take care of your mind it's important to take care of your thinking process read a book not just a Facebook post with a GIF that you don't know where it came from. <laughs> you know, they actually have these these items that, you know, that they 
keep in buildings with shelves, right? With a Dewey Decimal System that you can open up and in them is knowledge written on paper. Lettering, bold <laughs> italic <laughs> lettering <laughs> and a thing with a hardback spine that has gold and, lettering And it's an it. order. It's like the page two comes after page one and oh, there's page three, you know, the, there's there's so much information there you know <laughs> have you guys not heard of an e-reader come on man just say it <laughs> not to say not 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 to say <laughs> once upon a time there was a man who used to sing a song butterfly in the sky i can go twice as high take a look it's in a book <laughs> really reading rainbow <laughs> is that where we going yes shout out to lavar because, because we need LeVar, some knowledge up in our community <laughs> we do. He ain't bad at it just say it that was that, that was good that was good but take care of the whole body right not just your physical not just your social but your mental and your nerves relax a little bit take some time off use your vacation hours you know don't just grind 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 until you grind yourself away take care of yourself and I'll just leave it at that now I do want to. Oh, it's, it looked like you were about to say something, Terrence. Yes, yes I did. I did want to jump in on that. You know, we were talking about this whole taking care of your mind thing. And for me, listening to what uh, the other guys were saying, Sean and Rhino, with regards to, you know, your presentation and how you carry yourself, that part to me felt like it more applied to taking care of your mind. Because though you do all the good stuff with your body as far as cleaning it up properly and dressing it up properly and getting good there's something about doing that that makes your mind feel better and because your mind feels better you know there's Deion Sanders used to say you look good you play good you know what I'm saying so I kind of never was a huge fan of his but in that one moment I have to agree you, you're look good play good you look good you feel good whatever you're doing whether it's playing you're working you're driving whatever if you feel good while you're doing it you're going to do it better and that right. is a part of that whole taking care of your mind keeping your mind in that place of feeling good and sharp to doing your best at whatever it is you're doing there's nothing more relaxing <clears throat> and self-centering then taking a shower, getting out, putting on some some decent cologne, some deodorant, and putting on a fresh pair of clean clothes, pressed, sharply creased, and 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 and, and put together, and then your shoes is clean and, and slide your feet in there, and they just fit just right. Yeah, you step outside, you don't want nothing to touch you. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Because I'm I'm feeling myself right now. There's something about that. It, it makes you feel good. Just like my boy was saying, it makes you feel good. And because it makes you feel good, it makes you conduct yourself more di differently. It makes you, it, makes you it, it, it motivates you to be better. And I've seen that in so many aspects of my life. Um, being in ministry, you know, you put on a suit the first time as a minister, man, you just shirt is sharp, you know, and it's tucked in there, and you put that suit on, that jacket on, and you walk through, um, you step outside into that fresh air, there's something about it, something about it, and, 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 and this is the case with anybody, I mean, you go to work, especially you military guys, you put your uniform on, there's something about a fresh, clean pair of fresh BTUs, you put them on, your boots is nice, they're nice and tucked in, you got your, your cover is, is nice and sharp and ready to go. And you step outside, man, you walk with a purpose. You walk like I'm the baddest thing that this world has ever seen. 
and it, it, it does something to your mind it makes you it lifts you up and it makes you feel better about yourself you can't feel that way if you <laughs> hadn't showered in three days and your clothes got holes in it and then you see somebody else that's dressed nice and you're like oh, why can't I be like that you know so it's, 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 there's something about it that's just the most simple thing but there's more to this thing I, I love it that's, that's us getting caught on the appearance thing like y'all say which is also part of taking care of your mind my bad I got a little outcast kicking in the background. <laughs> I meant to no, that it was it was in part on purpose because all I could hear was that soundtrack <laughs> from Outcast in my head when Ryan was talking. I, look, when you stare at me, <laughs> I was sitting there vibing, man. <laughs> but no, no, y'all, hey, y'all, y'all got a point. I like the bringing in the mental because I'm sitting there also thinking. Yo, the mental is part of the body, right? Your brain is part of your body. So you got to take care of that too. You know, I think too often than not, we don't really, and I, we've talked about it before on this forum ourselves. We don't, we don't talk about taking care of our minds and our mental health as much as we should. We don't convey that to each other, you know, as much as we should. We, we need to stop seeing it as a detriment. You've got to do that puzzles i don't care if it's just i used to do crossword puzzles i like my crossword puzzles relax my mind all of them a big reader I like to play chess you know um whether it's video gaming that you're doing something to you know get your mind in zen i like listening to jazz I like my jazz music on a sunday afternoon that's just that's part of my zen you know in general taking care of your whole mental that's like maintenance that we're talking about you know and if you have an issue, if there's something that's slipping, if you find yourself, you're in depression too much, you're, uh, you know, just feeling some type of way as they, as, as they say, <laughs> just a little too much, not being uh, afraid to admit it, you gotta go talk to somebody, you know? A lot of these places, it's anonymous people you can talk to. Like, in other words, they, they're not even allowed to share your, your uh, information with people. You can talk to them, they're on the other side of the phone, they don't have to know you, you won't have to worry about it. That, that for me, the anonymity of it is is sometimes the best thing because I don't know you, you know what I mean? It ain't like I gotta worry about you going, spreading this to my friends, and this, that kind of thing. So if you need to, talk to somebody. If something's getting out of hand, if not, do it for mental maintenance anyway. And yeah, dress it cool putting up whatever style, it, whether it's outrageous style, whatever makes you feel good when you step out. That, believe it or not, just as simple as that is, can be, can be mind, mind altering and mind calming and fly. And just to kind of piggyback off of that a little bit, I want to throw this out there for me, two things. Um, number one, I've never been a huge like name brand label fashionista type person so when we say get out there and get dressed nice dress nice for you and what i mean by that dress nice for you is what you feel comfortable in because if you feel good in it you can make you know a pair of go fasters look just as bomb as the newest pair of jays you know what i'm saying it, it's not about the label as much as it is is it clean does it smell good does it fit right is it neat do i look well put together do i feel good in what i'm doing that goes way beyond you know having somebody's tailor-made name stitched on it if it's two sizes too big or too small does you no good serves no purpose and at that point you're kind of missing the mark Number two was going to be, we're talking about your mental maintenance, your mind maintenance. I'm becoming more and more of a person who's big on affirmations, meditating. You know, that's my zen. You know, that's part of my routine in the mornings. Try and go through and do my morning affirmations just to kind of get my head space together and get my mind clear of any negativity or doubt or distraction so I can go into my day focused and then at the end of the day trying to express a little gratitude just for you know 
a good productive day good hard days work good solid day worth of whatever i had on the agenda for the day and being thankful that hey i was able to get whatever i got done whether it was a little or a lot just being thankful for it because i could have gotten nothing done because i wasn't here so there's something to that and it just for me helps kind of brings peace it sort of restores balance to the force for my star wars fans out there and as you know definitely something i wanted to make sure i got out there to the masses before we tried to wrap this thing up and speaking of bringing balance to the force um <clears throat> there were people and and myself included i've been like this um you look at other people when you look at their progress and you look at how they look and you think wow he has a nice build why can't i be built like that you know i want to let you know right now don't even think like that never judge your, not never measure yourself against someone else if you're going to measure yourself against something measure it against the word of god measure it against the writings of of uh of of, of, of these philosophers who are deep thinkers never measure yourself against somebody else because the fact of the matter is we're all different I'm never no matter how much I work out I'm going to look like Terry Crews physically I'm never going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime ever um, but that doesn't mean that I can't present myself nicely alright I can dress for me the way I am right now. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how you look. It's how you present yourself. And this all goes back to um, having a, a proper um, image of yourself and, um, and, and, and keeping your own mentality positive. Because remember, it's like we said earlier, this is the only body you have. You won't get another. All right. You've got to take care of what you have and you've got to work with what you've got. So if, if you one of those persons, you just have good DNA, you know, the genetic lottery was in your favor. Wonderful. All of us don't have that. <laughs> some of us are bigger up top. Some of us are bigger up down below. <laughs> It just is what it is. But don't let that throw you. You can still dress nicely. You can still present carry yourself nicely. I've seen some I've seen people just you would think they would be all depressed because of, you know, their situation. You would think they would have all sorts of insecurities. And then you meet them and you talk to them and you find out they don't have insecurities. What what, what is that? <laughs> And they carry themselves in such a way as like, oh my goodness, I, I love this person. You know, I want to be like this person, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. So never measure yourself against anybody else. Understand that you're special. You are unique in and of yourself. You are important and you are worth being here. You are worth taking care of yourself. You are worth your goals for your life. You are worth these things. Always push for your goals, but always keep in mind that you're worth it. You're worth it. Okay, so appreciate all the comments, fellas. Uh, I want to throw a quick question out to everyone or a quick request out to everyone to let's try to give two things a piece, two things physical and two things mental that we would recommend for any man out there to do to help or improve being a caretaker of their body. And I'll, I'll start off, okay? So my two physical would be drink water. Drink water. Like one of, one of the things that kill us us, you know, African Americans, quickly, is sugar. Drink water. You need it. Number two, get some sleep. Okay. So,
So when it comes to the mental part, this goes kind of similar to sleep. Rest your mind. Relax. Take a chill pill and rest your mind. And my second thing for the mental is live an honest life. It takes less brain power and is less stressful than lying. You don't have to remember all your lies. You don't have to keep up with your stories if you just tell the truth. And I'll leave it at that and I will pass it on to the next person. Well, the two things that came to my mind was um, number one, in terms of mental, uh, mental health is not a curse. It's not. All right. It's in our, and I and I hate to keep prefacing it this way, but in the African American community. Um, it's been seen as a stigma to have a mental illness and it's really not it's something that happens it it just happens and we wish we could stop it but we can't so we have to deal with it while we have it um understand that it is not a curse to seek help from a mental health professional it is not a curse not at all um you just have you have you just have to be extra vigilant you just have to be uh extra diligent and and taking care of yourself you have to be more aggressive and centering you you know it's like having a new car and having a car where you got to hold it so it doesn't pull to the left too much <laughs> you got to drive it until you can you know until you can improve your situation you know you've got to understand that it's it's, it's not a curse and it's not a thing of shame to go and seek help because we all need help uh, in, in one way, shape, form, or fashion. Um, to deny yourself that help is you're only hurting yourself. Um, the second thing is physically, um, there's nothing wrong with a little exercise here or there. You, you don't you don't have to look like Mr. Universe, <laughs> right? <laughs> you don't you don't have to to um work out until your deltoids look ripped and cut and shredded if you want to do that that's fine but you don't have to but you can do just enough just to keep everything working properly you know there's a japanese um exercise that i used to do years ago i haven't done it in years but it's an exercise that you can do it just takes three minutes and it involves laying down on the ground and then standing back up just do that over and over again for three minutes and you'll get a full body workout you won't be um you won't look like a drawing of batman in the comics but you will get a full body workout you know it's just just two things to um to consider in your life as you move along mental health is not a curse and a little exercise will go a long way. You don't have to overdo it. All right, so I guess I'll I'll pick up here. Um, just to piggyback off on some of what I guess I was saying from a little bit earlier, and that's just you know, on the physical number one, you know, just watch your known toxins. We already know that, you know, overuse of, you know, alcohol, drugs, those type of things, those are substances, substance abuse, all that kind of stuff. So no, we already know what those do. So just watch your intake. And I'm not going to get judgmental and say, you know, don't ever go puff you one or, <laughs> or whatever you do in your life. But uh, know that it is definitely harmful uh, to the body. Um, Second thing, physical, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, go with the obvious, of course, of course, 
a little exercise is not gonna kill us. <laughs> you know what I mean? If anything, it's gonna have the opposite effect. Uh, don't belittle yourself. Like Rhino was saying, if you can't get it all in, if you're not in the gym six days a week, don't worry about that. You know, whatever you can do, then you do. You know, and you'll find that you you have those other different things um, that'll come about. Um, on the mental, uh, first on the mental, again, I guess just reiterating what I was saying from before, um, you know, met regular maintenance. Just even when nothing's going on, even when everything is cool, you just need to have those um, mental devices that you can use to make sure you find your zen. So I, I call it maintenance per se on that note. So from that standpoint, that's one. I don't know if I got a second. <laughs> we talked about a lot of different things. I don't know if I got necessarily a second one other than a little bit of what Rhino was saying. It's not, there's no shame. Monitor yourself for your your progress or what you're, what you're you know, if, if something's wrong, admit something's wrong and try to, you know, go about fixing it. Um, the, you know, admitting it is, is half the battle to start with. And then, you know, that can, that's what leads you into being able to go and fix it. So those are my thoughts. Okay, so I'm gonna have to revert back to my school days here and say, Tony, you took my answers, man. I was literally Sorry thinking, drink water and like get some exercise in. And then here he comes with this. Uh, okay, so two things. Number one, if I'm thinking of something that I could do for from a mental perspective, you know, I'm going to go back to my meditation. Meditation doesn't have to be complicated. I think sometimes people overcomplicate it because they think that they have to be in this quiet room, all like completely zoned out with a... Uh, a drum going and they're sitting crisscross applesauce and eyes closed hands up just humming um, or something yeah and it's not not um, necessarily that deep it you know it's almost akin to like time that's spent in prayer because a meditation can be like a prayer where you're just communing with you know the creator god the universe or however you want to phrase it so that would be number one spend some time in meditation number two kind of parlay into what i was just talking about before simplify things start feeling too hectic start feeling too much start feeling overwhelmed take a step back see what you can do to kind of simplify the problem or simplify what you're doing because one of the biggest things that takes us out aside from sugar is stress and usually we're stressed out because things just seem too much too complicated too hectic too busy too str okay if that's the case what can you do to simplify lighten the load take some of that pressure off how to take care of your body physically okay I think we kind of tap danced around this a little bit so I'm gonna just say it the best way I know how wash your beep you know just soap water rag do it clean it up get in know. there yeah you know yeah. don't be get in there <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> don't be afraid to do just that get in there you got to sometimes just to make sure everything is right man it's just it, it, okay number two moderation physically you want to do things in moderation you want to eat you like ribs that's fine instead of going for the full rack every time every now and then maybe do half a rack you know you want to get out there and exercise even exercising you want to do it in moderation nobody says day one run out and try to take on the boston marathon you put in two three four solid minutes on a treadmill day one if that's your best that's your best take it let that little bit of confidence build you up to the next day and build off of it because you know rome wasn't built in a day 
you know the rock didn't build his body in like one workout session it took time so being patient with yourself and understanding that it takes time to build whatever physique you're trying to get to is okay i'm done okay well thank you very much fellas i think we've had a pretty good session today so with that being said we're gonna wrap it up and i'm gonna toss it to terrence for the closing ah so it's back to me again well as always peoples like share and subscribe thank y'all for listening god bless you good night deuce peace out everybody night everybody have a good